All right, YouTube. So I haven't done a reaction video in a minute. We're going to start doing them again. There's so many new barbers on YouTube. So many tutorials on here. Barbers are getting better and better. Man, I've been doing this, this YouTube thing for quite a long time. It's crazy to see how the industry has evolved, how the YouTube community has grown. You know, not a lot of collaborating going on, but definitely dope seeing, seeing all the content here on YouTube. So um, I was going through my timeline. I just searched for barber. And what I saw was this thumbnail that seems pretty interesting to me. And it's this one right here. So we're going to go ahead and watch that this one by the one minute barber. And recently, I think he commented on one of my posts on Instagram. By the way, follow me on Instagram. So it's dope seeing his content on here. It looks like he's doing numbers already. So and the thumbnails are on freaking point. Oh, he's been doing this for a while. He's killing it. He's getting all kinds of views. 100,000 subscribers. Oh, yeah, he's he's killing it. I wonder how long he's been doing YouTube because I'm just now finding out about him. Even though he commented on one of my posts, I thought. You know, he was doing his thing with Instagram and stuff. I didn't realize he was doing his thing with YouTube like that. Cool, let's go ahead and watch this video because he obviously knows what he's doing. So I don't know if I want to watch this one anymore. I feel like I need to watch one of the more viral videos. Let me see what else he got real quick. Oh, he's doing a lot of scissor cuts, which is dope. I guess we're going to go with this one, the most popular one. Hello, Barber, and welcome to this gents scissor cutting tutorial. This is a complete walkthrough. All right, I need to know how he's doing all these effects. Start to finish covering a lot of different techniques, but That's don't worry, I've been barbering for 20 years and I'm Ooh. here to guide you through this chop. 20 so years. we're starting right here, right in the middle of the head. And a fundamental thing that you're going to need to do when you're scissor cutting is to wet the hair down. You should always wet the hair, it gives you great control of the hair. So what I'm going to do is just separate this hair here at the back above the occipital bone. Camera angles now, on if point. I separate that there, it lets me have access to all these sections that I want to cut further down. Going in with my scissor, my very first section is right on the occipital bone. And I'm picking it up with the scissor and then put, placing the comb underneath it. Now, as you get nearer the bottom, you can either lower the angle that you're lifting the comb up at or get slightly closer to the head. This comb I'm using, by the way, is a YS Park Barber's oh. Comb. Now, comb. that comb has wide teeth and narrow teeth, and for this technique, using the wide teeth is a lot better. Sometimes when you're scissor over combing, if you're using the narrow teeth, the narrow teeth can't get into the hair, and sometimes they lift it up, so Too much using the wide teeth is a lot easier. The shop, I'm looking at the background, it looks nice, it looks real nice. I don't know if, if you've done a tour, One Minute Barber, but I wonder why, why the name One Minute Barber. Stop moving. Okay, let's pull down all that hair now that was getting in the way before. His client has nice hair too. And if we lift okay. that up, Profile I'll be able section. to see the short hair just at the end of my fingertips. And if I hold my fingers out vertical, I can just cut straight up from there. That means that if I'm pulling my fingers out straight, the hair further up is getting further away from the head. And that's graduating into longer hair. So it's allowing me to build up. I'm, I'm working sort of short, working my way up into longer hair and that can allow the hair to be longer on top. It gives it some support. So I'll work all the way towards the ear, and then on the other side, I'm gonna work all the way towards the ear as well. Since we've cut the whole back of the head, that'll be our guide, and we can use that to work out the length to be cut in the sides. So if I put my scissor in here, there's the short hair from the back, and I just need to cut along the spine of my comb, and that'll ensure that I'm cutting to the same length that I had the hair on the back. Now this technique, this scissor over comb, I've said it before in previous videos, it really is an essential barber technique. It takes a little bit of practice. It's the flipping of the comb. You flip it over and under. Now you'll notice on the ear there again, just keeping the comb on top of the ear when I'm cutting because let's not have any accidents. Keep your cutting safe. Yo, that's so true. I've had like really quick moments where I'm holding the comb like this and like the scissors are supposed to be on this side, but by accident, I go underneath and I actually like almost cut the hair. Have you guys ever dealt with that? I've had those accidents before. A bit of refinement here. Let's move over to the very front of the side and I'll lift it up. There's the short hair that I'm always looking for and cut to that. So here's me changing my angle. Look, I'm going in this direction now because that's kind of the way that the hair is going. So I like to go with the flow, don't we all? One thing about this technique, I've tried this technique. It works really, really good for me most of the time. But for me, he's been doing this 20 years, so I'm sure it's, it's not an issue for him. But for me, when I go to cut like more of a coarse texture, thicker, coarse hair, 
And I try to sizzle over comb technique, bro. I make so many lines. No matter how many times I go back and refine it, like sizzle over comb and refine it, like I, I just create so many lines. And it's gotta be on my technique or whatever. Cause I've seen people do it with no problem. And it might be that I'm just kind of like hard on myself. I definitely feel like I could get better, especially scissor over comb with like more of a coarse texture. Back of the Ooh. scissor blade against the ear and just cut. If I comb that hair down and it's wet, it's more likely to stay there for me to cut with my scissor. Nice. If I have a guideline from the start, I can follow that right through. Let me show you. I have talked about the guideline in other videos, but if I separate the hair from the crown all the way to the fringe, then I can create a guideline. At the fringe, I've got this major cow lick. So what I'm gonna do is tip my fingers back on my guideline and keep that much longer because I want to deal with that separately. It's quite a difficult thing to sort, to cut. So we'll keep that towards the end of this haircut. Right, so my guideline's in and now every time I take a section, I can see where the short hair would be. For those of you guys that know my tutorials and watch them, you guys know I use these steps a lot. That profile guide right through the middle and then just from back to front or front to back, you know, just take those those sections, those half inch sections. So pick this up here. I mean, you there got you go. your guide right Here's in the middle. Here's the little short hair. And mm -hmm. I'll just cut to that. Once I've cut the middle, I can move over to the side. And where that little circle is, that's where there should be some short hair, which will let me know what length to cut these side kind of sections at. Yeah, we cut very like similar. Any little corner. Yeah. We cut very the steps that he's doing, it's interesting because I learned those specific steps and those techniques from the Vidal Sassoon Academy in Santa Monica. And uh, when I first started using it, people were making fun of me. Barbers were making fun of me because they don't know. They don't know how to cut with shears. They think they know, but this is very similar to what Vidal Sassoon teaches at their, their Santa Monica Academy. I wonder if he, he's gone. You see. So keep pulling that out. Work your way all the way towards them. Very simple, makes a lot of sense. Just a logical way of cutting hair with shears or with scissors. And then you can see how smooth it lays. So I lift these up. Kind of a take nicer some weight away too. from the A nicer, more textured, more natural I'll tell look. you the reason. The reason is that because when you have a cow lick, okay, the hair will go in all sorts of directions. And it's not best to cut that with tension to pull it down. It's best to kind of just leave it resting on your scissor, which is a straight line. So the curve of the cow lick can form round and rest in a straight line. Just let it take its shape, let it take its form and cut across a straight line. The vent brush is great because it allows air to flow through it. Great. So Mate. guys, it's dry now and that thing is laid, like no lines. What a great haircut. Pull it out with my comb and let's get this dead straight line in here. If I, if I try to do that technique that he just did with them trimmers, using my trimmers, it, some would uh, be bleeding. The blade's white because it's a ceramic blade, so they're apparently very sharp. I, uh, I do quite like it. It's very, very fine tuned. Soft hair on their neck, so I'm getting rid of that. The other side, I'm lifting this out with a comb first to, um, just to make sure there's no excess weight hanging over the side and then I am going to trim it down. Very similar strategies so you would do with tapers, line. with everything. Remove that soft hair from his face. You can tell he's gonna have a big beard one day because <laughs> there's a lot of fluff there, but... That's fine. Um, he's not quite there yet, but I'm sure yeah, that it will be. Too. You can see the hair on his chin, look. Like right here. That area, get all That's the debris fine. away. It was a little bit dense at this side, so I'm channel. just gonna slice That's it a little bit. Channel cut and slice and When cutting. you're slicing, don't close the scissor blade. You know, what you're doing is you move the scissor through the hair and just flutter it with your thumb, but don't close it. Yeah, open it up a little bit, not so dense. Here's my final cut. What do you think? Oh, that is so clean. That's, is clean. I know it's my own work, but that is so clean. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. And the fringe is sitting really just, it's, beautiful cut. it's got its own curve, but it's sitting in a straight line. Fringe and nice. that's what I want. I want it to yep. sit naturally. What do you think of the haircut? Do you like it? I hope you like it. Bravo. I'll see you again soon in my Bravo. next video. All right, let's check out the comment section. Let's see if people can appreciate a great haircut. I'm not even a barber or planning to cut anyone's hair, but I still watch the video from start to finish. You're a great teacher. I'm trying to learn how to cut my son's hair and save money. Yo, they're watching the hell out of his videos. Must say, you did not only give me the confidence to start cutting my family members. That's awesome. 
I'm noticing that he's getting a lot of hobby uh, hair cutters. Uh, man, you did a fantastic job in explaining everything you did, which made it super. I'm a hair student. There you go. And this video has taken the fear out of scissor over comb for me. That's dope. I just cut my friend's hair and I was genuinely proud of myself and how it turned out. Yeah, there's a lot of hobbyists here. But you know what? I had a lot of people early on in my career when I was doing YouTube that came in as hobbyists. When I go to shows now, people will come up to me and be like, listen, man, I was just trying to learn how to cut my son's hair or cut my own hair. And now I'm a licensed barber. I realized I was super passionate for it. And I realized you can actually make some money doing this and make a career out of it. So this is really helpful since lockdown. I've cut my teenager hair yeah see a lot of hobbyists but all in all super positive from comments he's obviously doing a great job and people are learning so guys i'm gonna put his youtube channel i'm gonna tag him on this put it in the description if you've not subscribed to the one minute barber go do so go support a fellow barber on this platform it takes a lot of work to put videos out consistently this man's doing it and he's doing it in high quality so let's support y'all go ahead and subscribe and uh, i will see you guys on the next reaction video if there's anything you guys want to see me react to write the title to the video in the comment section don't tag me on it or put the link in the comments because it, it gets filtered out automatically by youtube if you write the title of the video down i'll copy and paste it and i'll find the video and react to it all right guys see you on the next one